It's called individual instruction, yes. Uh, the most expensive for a university, by the way, because I'm not teaching a class of 50 people, which is a big money revenue for the university. I have taught classes here in piano literature, chamber music. The larger classes, of course, would be piano literature. I've taught pedagogy, advanced. Um, I prefer the one-on-one, -on -one and which I offer is a master class to my own studio. So they play for each other and get familiar. Preferably not in this room. I'd rather get them on a stage if I can. In McDonald here or Newman. Uh, these are recital halls here at USC that we could use um, to give them more platform to play. Mm -hmm. Because even though SC prides itself in the performance image uh, school, which it is, they still don't have enough performing opportunities. And I try to tell them, the school is not the end of the line. Hey, you live in Los Angeles, it's a big city and other where, go out and play when you, when you have a program ready to go and look at all kinds of opportunities to perform. Uh, that initiative has to be taken by the student. Um, I have several Russian students and have, when they come from the Soviet Union then, that's not their mentality. Their mentality is, well, you arranged that because they did for me there. I said, well, hey, welcome to America. It's a free country, we don't do that. Sure, if I can make a phone call, and which I do, and open a door for them, to give them the opportunity to perform. But only when they're ready. This is not what my teacher, Madame Levine, used to say, something that's half-baked. It's all integrated. I don't lead with what foot. I try to condense what's on the page as fast as I can, and that's what I teach. We don't have a lot of time. It's Music is simultaneous. The pedaling has to be right, the fingering, the touch, the uh, uh, style. Debussy is not Chopin, is not Bartok. They have to be aware of that. Projection. Uh, technique means the command of your instrument is from the Greek, the art of your craft, which means total. All the things I'm talking about. Pedaling, everything is put together, not I will learn the right hand alone, now I'm going to put the left hand together. Now that's two processes, why would I want to do that? Now I'll add the pedal, now I'll add the emotion. Sorry, you've already lost the game. Uh, now I'll think about what you told me about this is Debussy or something. No, it's all too late. And you've wasted an awful lot of time practicing nonsense, which means ingraining bad habits. If I see the student, let's say, once a week, which is nothing, what are they doing the other six days of the week? Are they going over what I said? I'm not with them when they practice, but I can certainly see what's called a prepared lesson. A prepared lesson is, here's the music, this is what I'm saying in the piece, now critique. Not it takes 10 more weeks to, f to figure out four pages of music. Well, we're never going to get anywhere. That's called me helping you practice in the lesson. There's a complete difference. Uh, students don't like the word pressure. Well, without some, hey, let's get going. You've studied this piece for three weeks. When are you going to memorize it and put it to sleep and we're ready to play it? and memorize. Well, I'm not there yet. Well, when will you be there? When you're 90? No. So, a uh, teacher that, I'm not just a teacher, I'm their friend. I'm their father, I'm their psychiatrist, I'm everything. I mean, students come in, they're not ready to play something. Hey, can we go out and schmooze and have a coffee? Fine, I need to talk to you. Great. If you want to use the time like that, that's okay with me because they need, they need an ear. So I'm not just, quote, their teacher. And there's an interesting 
what should I say? I can't get super friendly. I mean, it was Madame Levine to me. I'm not Daniel to my students. I'm whatever, Professor Pollock or whatever. They cannot be on a first name buddy buddy basis with me. Uh, that doesn't work. And even after they've graduated, you know, it takes a long time and they still call me officially. Um, so there's an interesting chemistry that has to exist between the mentor. Think about it. Why are they here at USC? Mostly they come for the major teacher. If the major teacher is also in a university and in a city where you get the whole package together, that's interesting. I had Madame Levine Juilliard in New York, but I would still have gone to study with Madame Levine if she was teaching in Mississippi. I went for the major teacher. And if you interview kids here, I'm sure you'll find the same. They're here because of. And that's very important because that's the biggest mentor in their life at this point in their career. What should I say? Like after their parents. I mean, your biggest influence is your mother and father as you're growing up and your siblings and whatever. The next one is your teacher or your teachers. They play a very important role in your life.